Hey guys, Dr. Kilfoyle here with Podiatry Explained. Here we have another video for podiatrists. Now listen guys, I see that a lot of people have been watching my videos from PM News and thank you Barry Block. I have been getting some criticism and I have to say some of that stuff is unfounded. One of the things that I've been getting approached with, it has to do with things that are not based on evidence. So if your practice doesn't use evidence on what they do, you can stop talking to me about that, okay? So if you're using laser on fungus nails, please show me the studies that show that the isolated variable is the, is the, the antifungal laser. And make sure that there's no bias in that study either. And then you can convince me to start using it. And there's a million other things that people are using in their practices that have no evidence for them. And you're going to try to encourage me to start to talk about that? That is not going to happen. I need evidence. I'm talking about randomized controlled trials. I'm talking about meta-analysis. I'm talking about evidence. I want, <laughs> I want people to have a double-blinded study. Why am I going to inflict my patients with something that's not covered by insurance? Which most of the time, if it's not covered by insurance, there's no evidence for it. Let's talk about evidence for getting liver function tests for terbinafine. We're talking about the JAMA Dermatology. Uh, in 2018, that's been four years nearly since this came out in, in November of 2018, where you do not need to get blood tests for terbinafine. I understand that there's a cultural and, you know, <laughs> patients ask for it. But listen, unless the patient has a history of cirrhosis or hepatitis or jaundice or anything, I could get it. I get it. If the patient asks for it, I get it. But listen, don't you scare any more patients into thinking they're taking poison because you want a liver function test to give them, on, give them Lamisil. This has been Dr. Kilfoyle with a quick little message to my other podiatrist trying to tell me to start selling their crap. No thank you.